Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're gonna be getting ready for that super game day. I got some treats and snacks for you. I think you're gonna enjoy these. So sit back, relax, and let's get cooking. So to start out, you're just gonna make a box of chocolate cake mix. Any kind that you want. I'm just using the chocolate fudge cake mix. And I'm just gonna make this according to the directions and bake it in a nine by 13 dish. So today we're actually starting with our dessert first, then our appetizer, and then kind of the main course of sorts last. So anyway, I just baked up this chocolate cake and now I'm just kind of getting it over here into a large bowl and you're just gonna crumble this all up into fine crumbs. This would be a great step for your kids to participate in. They can get their hands in there. I'm just using my little mix and chop because I didn't want all this brown stuff under my fingernails, but like I said, get your kids involved. They would love to help with this. Once your cake is all crumbly, you just take some of this cream cheese frosting. You only need about a cup, and you're just gonna add that in. And then you're gonna take just a hand mixer and kind of mix all of this together. And I did go back and add a little bit more frosting. You want this to kind of hold its shape when you scoop it, because we are, of course, gonna make these into cake pops. So just kind of play around with it. Just start with a little bit of the frosting and add a little bit more if you think you need it. Next, we're just gonna start by forming these into little balls at first. And I found the best way is to do a ball and then slightly roll it between your hands like you're gonna do the little Play-Doh worm, you know? And then pinch the ends together and you're gonna come up with a football shape. It might take you, no, let me rephrase. It will take you a couple times to get the shape right, but they really don't have to be perfect. It's all just for fun anyway, and they're gonna turn out really cute. And then next to a microwave safe bowl, we're adding some dark chocolate chips, also some peanut butter chips, and then about a tablespoon or two of shortening. And that's just gonna kinda give your frosting on the outside a little bit of that sheen. So you're just gonna microwave this for about 30 seconds at a time. You really don't want to burn this mixture and it really doesn't take a lot to get everything melted. I forgot to say too, while you're making up your little frosting or coating mixture, I pop my footballs into the fridge just to kind of let them harden up for a little bit. Next, I'm just gonna take these little lollipop sticks, dip those in the chocolate, put one in each football, and then we're just gonna coat the outside in some chocolate. Again, this might take you a couple times, but it'll be all right. Next, we're gonna add, of course, the laces on the footballs with the extra frosting, and then to plate it up, I just took some coconut flakes with some green food coloring to kind of look like football grass, football turf, I don't know, it seemed cute to me. And then I just placed a few of those little cake pops on top, and y'all, I think these turned out so adorable, and they were actually really good too. Next, we're gonna make the most perfect chip and veggie dip. And you wanna make this ahead of time so it can sit in the fridge and let all of these flavors kind of come out. So to a bowl, I'm just adding some sour cream. We're gonna add just a little bit of mayonnaise, and then we're gonna add in our seasonings. So I'm just adding some dried minced onion, some dried parsley flakes, some dried dill, but of course you could probably use fresh dill as well. And then this day I could not find my garlic salt, so I just added a little bit of salt and then a little bit of garlic powder as well. And of course I'll have all these recipes down below for you, like always. 
We're just gonna give everything a good mix, get it into the bowl that I know I'll be serving it out of, and I topped it with a little bit more dill and a few chives as well, just to make it pretty. And then along with this, I just chopped up some fresh veggies, and like I said, this is so delicious with both chips and vegetables, so I just plated it up all together, and I think it looks so pretty, and everyone loved this. And lastly, who doesn't love a good old cheeseburger when watching the game? We're going to make ultimate cheeseburger sliders. So I have about two pounds of ground beef here that I'm just going to brown up. Again, I'm just adding some dried onion. I'm adding some of this buttery steakhouse seasoning and then this other seasoning by Fire and Smoke. It had some garlic in there, some dill, what else? Paprika, onion, and I just thought that sounded really good for a cheeseburger. So use any seasonings you like or you could even use an onion soup packet in here. I did add salt and pepper as well and I just got that mixture all browned up. All right, so I have drained our ground beef and now I'm just gonna add a few tablespoons of mayonnaise and basically this is just kind of a binder to hold together everything on our slider buns. But you could also add ketchup or mustard but I just think my family, especially my kids, We'll like it better with kind of just the mayonnaise. And then we're just gonna stir everything together. All right, we're just gonna let that ground beef sit for a few minutes. And so meanwhile, over here in a small saucepan, I have half a stick of butter that is melting. We're gonna add three or four dashes of Worcestershire sauce. I found my garlic salt, y'all. I'm just gonna add a little of that. Also going to add some onion powder. I'm just going to whisk all that together. Alright, next we're going to bring over our Hawaiian rolls. I already sliced these in half, so I'm just going to get the bottoms transferred over here to a baking sheet. Next, I'm just going to bring over that ground beef and start piling it on. And of course you could serve these with all the regular cheeseburger fixings like lettuce and tomato and all that. And you could kind of open them back up and let everyone, you know, top theirs however they want. But I think they're good just like this. All right, you kind of want to even it out, make sure you get it to the edges so each little roll has some. Next on top of our ground beef, I'm just going in with some sharp cheddar cheese. And I accidentally bought the super thin kind. So I'm just gonna kind of Layer it up a little bit. Next, I'm going to bring over that butter mixture and just put a small layer on top of the cheese. All right, now we're ready for the tops of our buns. Then we're gonna do a little bit more butter on the tops. Kinda take some of the extra and go around the sides a little bit. And lastly, we're just gonna sprinkle the tops with a few sesame seeds. Of course, this is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. All right, I'm gonna get these covered tightly with some foil, and these are gonna go into the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. All we're really doing is toasting up the buns and melting that cheese inside. These turned out so delicious. They were super cheesy, and that cheese, along with the little hint of sweetness from those Hawaiian rolls, made these little cheeseburgers 
so amazing. Everybody liked them. Even my daughter who doesn't even love cheeseburgers loved these. So I think this is also a great option if you don't want to grill a bunch of cheeseburgers. These are super easy to throw together ahead of time and you have a delicious little spread. So here was our cheeseburgers, our little sweet treat football cake pops, and our dip. Everything was so good y'all. I hope you give some of these recipes a try. I have lots more recipes here for you to check out. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification before you leave. I hope you're all doing great and I'll see y'all real soon in my next video. Bye y'all.